More now on the issue of toxic algae in the water. It's not just in Southwest Florida, but other places too. And the culprit is usually the chemical derivative of phosphorus, known as phosphate. Well, that phosphate runoff causes the toxic blooms, killing aquatic life in our water. Our Usher Qureshi shows you how scientists are trying to do something about this using a high-tech sponge. Nature requires a delicate balance. Phosphorus, a life-sustaining element, occurs naturally in small quantities. But its increased use in fertilizer for agricultural purposes negatively impacts water quality and ecosystems. It can stimulate the growth of algae. Too much is not good, and too little is not good. Increased temperatures, light penetration, and phosphate runoff pollution have caused harmful algae blooms in rivers, streams, and lakes for years. Very wet conditions cause a lot of runoff from agricultural fields, and that goes into the major rivers and other tributaries. Satellite imagery over Lake Erie shows some of the dangerous algae blooms that have killed aquatic life and contaminated drinking water. We are looking to see what would be most effective. But now a team of scientists has developed a way to target and remove phosphate from polluted waters. Phosphate in particular is a very menacing problem. Vinayak Dravid is director of the Northwestern University Atomic and Nanoscale Characterization Center, or NUANCE. He and his team have developed a membrane that they say can soak up to 99% of the phosphate ions from water. Just like a household sponge absorbs water and, and the soap and you can wash the dishes, this particular sponge or a membrane absorbs only phosphate. This is going to be a lot like a conventional sponge, but it has a special coating on it. So we will load our columns full of the membranes um, and then we will run our contaminated water with a pump through the column and then we'll get clean water out. Last year, the team successfully used the same kind of nanotechnology to soak up oil from water. We have been expanding for a lot of pollutants right now, such as heavy metals, microplastics, as well as in soil and air also. In addition, the sequestered phosphate can be reused. And you take that absorbed phosphate to another tank and slightly change the condition to basic, and all the phosphate gets released, and that allows us to reuse many times. The research, which was published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences, could provide the kind of new filtration technology that they say is sustainable and inexpensive. I think there's an opportunity to show not only is it the right thing to do, but it is scalable and it has a business proposition. It's a possible lab innovation that could help preserve life as we know it. Reporting from Chicago, I'm Usher Kureshi.